Hello folks. In this video I wanted to show how we could use the query function to help us build a dashboard, a, a quick summary of data that's a large data set. In this case my data set is here. This is a, a large data set of SBA loans um, downloaded from an SBA site. It originally was 100,000 rows. I trimmed it down to 30,000 to make it a little more manageable. So I'm using this data set and I wanted to build a dashboard to summarize some of the data using some charts. And um, also um, this, this is actually a query and coming up just with my total amount of um, job supported. But here I'm breaking that down by state with this geo chart and uh, a couple of other charts from the data that's in there. So let's look at how I did this. I wanted this all to be on one sheet. So I've gone ahead and grouped up the area over here where my queries are. So let's go ahead first of all and, and mark our query. That's a query. This is a query. And uh, this is a query. Let's take a look and see what we have. Then I'm using these three pieces of data to build my, uh, oh, and by the way, I've also grouped this at the bottom so uh, I could sort of hide this other data set that's here. So let's take a look at this query. The first query is SBA data. So what I've done is created this sheet um, and I've selected everything in this sheet. I think if I select this, uh, if I select it this way, all the way across A through Z, Notice I've given, given this a named range, SBA data. So initially, I selected my data set, gave it a named range, then I'm using my named range here in my, as my data set. Then my query is, uh, what I'm doing is, uh, let's go back here and take a look. So I'm selecting E, that's my state, and I'm selecting Z, that's my job supported. So. I am selecting E and the sum of Z. Here I'm using these uh, uh, language clauses. I'm grouping by E. And then I wanted to label uh, these because when uh, I wanted to give it a different name than what I saw here. So for instance, this said uh, project state and I just wanted it to say state. So I'm labeling, labeling E as state. I'm labeling sum Z as jobs supported. And it's as simple as that, that's, that's that first query. And then I'm using this data set here to build this chart. I can bring up my chart editor and show you that I'm looking at from N1 to O55. And I am not really even doing much customization. Um, I switched this to United States and I switched some of my colors. Um, and that's really about it. Uh, you know, that color may be a little bit too dark. I might do something like that. So uh, chart styles, a geo start chart didn't take, make any other real changes to that. Query number two, um, I, in this case, used my SBA data. And in this case, I selected N. And N is the um, approved fiscal year. So I selected N. I counted N because I wanted to break this down into years, 91 through 98, and, I, and then I wanted a count of how many of these loans were, there were in each particular year of this data set. And then, um, I, again, I used the label function, well, I grouped by my year, grouped by N, labeled N as year, and count N as the number of loans. So again, um, I pre-built this, so I'm just showing you the, the, how we went through and built this. And then the next step would be to take a look at this query. This is uh, select W. So let's come over and see what W is. Uh, we take a look at our data set. W is the business type. So we're selecting W, counting W, grouping by W, label W as business type, count W as number. So again, three different queries to pull the data together. Then I'm using those, uh, for instance, the number of loans per year is looking at this setup data on my chart. It's a line chart. 
didn't really make too many changes. I think I came into customize and uh, on the series I, I added the star. You know, maybe I even want that to be a little bit bigger, make those stars a little bit bigger. Uh, basically just setting up a, a, a line chart to show number of loans per year. And then finally, uh, a bar chart to show what the different types of business type, the number of business types again, again, just taking a look at one of the columns in the query and counting it and grouping and then uh, labeling it. So I can hide this data and now basically in a, in a fairly short amount of time, I have created a dashboard and let's see, I've also, I have a, a minus sign, I can do that. So here's a nice single page dashboard, um, which has a summary of, of 30,000 rows of data and gives us an idea of uh, just what this data looks like to pass on to your manager. Again, very simply, three queries and a use of some of the charting uh, capabilities in Google Sheets, and we have a really nice, simple dashboard.